by Mariner Wealth Advisors CEO, Marty Bickle. Marty, thanks for being here today. Brian, thanks for having me. I'm really looking forward to the conversation. So in this conversation, I wanted to pick your brain for just maybe a few minutes and talk about fee compression. It's what we're constantly hearing about in the industry. And I just love to hear your thoughts and what you're seeing. Yeah, Brian, there, there's a lot to unpack there. I mean, we, we've been hearing about fee compression in the industry for a while now. Um, and, you know, from my perspective, I really think fee compression for, you know, call it comprehensive wealth advice and financial planning. I mean, it's just not here yet. Um, and, you know, I personally don't see it in, in the near term future. I mean, investment advice, investment planning, sure, it's there. Um, I mean, frankly, you know, you know this, but I believe investments are a commodity. I, I believe there are means to the, to the end. And, it, you know, when you think about advisor's value proposition and, you know, in this sea of sameness where we all sound the same and we're all telling clients the, the things we do and it's so hard to differentiate it, you know, that value proposition and that client experience, when it includes, you know, tax, estate planning, you know, um, you know, risk assessments, you know, all the different things, obviously investments are a part of that and they're an important part. But when you're bringing all of those things to the table, um, you know, I, I don't see that leading to fee compression. Um, but what I do see it leading to um, is a cost in our offering, a cost in what advisors do going up. And, you know, so maybe, you know, the, the, there's profitability compression because advisors have to add these things. I think the, the, the one other point I'd like to make about this is, you know, when, when you approach, you know, the, the thought process of needing these things um, to differentiate yourself, to, to justify, you know, the, the, the fee that a client's paying, Frankly, Brian, I think that's leading to all this consolidation that we're seeing. I mean, a lot of firms are just saying that, you know, we don't have the capabilities um, to go add these resources or we don't have the financial wherewithal to go add all these resources. And I think it's driving that. Um, so fee compression to me is more um, than, you know, a top line conversation. It's more about the bottom line. It's more about profit compression. So it's maybe... So it's in, it's in that area as well as the asset management space, like you mentioned just a minute ago. I mean, so what should advisors be thinking about right now? Because, again, they're getting this is they're getting pounded with this message that their fees are ultimately going to come down. You talked about the consolidation. What are some of your thoughts for advisors that are out there that, you know, may be looking out two and three years and thinking about how to position themselves so that they don't face ultimately some of this margin compression, or they have the ability to deliver additional services, which is ultimately what the market is likely going to demand. So, Brian, you, you've heard me say, um, you know, a lot of times that, you know, we we speak with, you know, 200 advisors a year. And in those conversations, the very first thing I ask is articulate your value proposition to me. Yeah. And it's amazing to me how many of them can't. And how many of them sound the same? So, you know, I think the first step should be take a step back and analyze what their value proposition is, um, figure out how to articulate it, um, and then figure out what the progression should be. How do we move our value proposition forward? How do we truly differentiate ourselves beyond just the words we say? Yeah, it's a great point. You, can they articulate it? Can their staff articulate it? Take it a step further. Can any of their clients articulate it? Like, what does that look like? Because then you really know, you know, if you have something there that is different, and then they will be able to set themselves apart in the future um, or potentially consider adding additional resources. Marty, thank you very much for your insight. Thanks for being here today. Thanks, Brian. 